Hello and welcome to the Dark Side of Magic. My name is Cody and today we are going to check out how we did on our haul from Walgreens. So if you didn't if you didn't hear about this uh, going on a couple weeks ago now I think. Then uh, you must have been living under a rock. Um, <laughs> so they had 40% uh, off all their all their trading cards, um, and so I picked up a couple things, um, and we are going to crack into some of them here and see how we can do on our 40% off deal. Uh, I think the booster packs wound up being like I don't know two 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 thirty two forty something like that. But anyways, so I picked, uh, this is what I could find, three Aether Revolts, five Guilds of Ravnica, um, and then I got this uh, Vreska Regal Gorgon Planeswalker deck. Um, so yeah, um, so I got that. Uh, I, I think I left one pack of Guild of Ragnica at one store. Um, I didn't, I think there was, there was a couple of um, the core set Planeswalkers decks and I wasn't too interested in those just because they only have one booster pack. Whereas this one comes with two booster packs. So I figured, you know, it was kind of worth it. Um, they had a Kaladesh Planeswalker deck with Chandra. I should have probably grabbed that since the price of Kaladesh went so crazy. But, um, oh well. I did get a couple of Aether Revolts. So. Uh, There's no Ixalan, no rivals of Ixalan, none of that. So, this is what I found. And, uh, so I'm going to open, put these aside. I'm going to open these two Aethers and four Guilds of Ravnica blister packs and then the Planeswalker deck. I'm just going to open the booster packs out of this. I'm not going to go through the deck and everything. Um, maybe at a later date, but just for this video, we're just going to crack the packs. So I'm just going to start by getting these all out of these blister packs. Oh. How's everybody doing? Hope you had a safe and good Thanksgiving holiday. And oops. Hope you ate too much food. <laughs> I know I did. Oh. I went to my girlfriend's family first and stuffed myself there and we went to my parents so and we stuffed ourselves there and had some dessert and had a good old time but uh, yeah I think this was I me and my girl have been together for like six years now and this was like the first time that her their her family really actually got did a get together on Thanksgiving, so that was kind of fun. Um, I mean, I've seen her family and you know spent time with her family before, but it was nice to do it you know on a holiday when they normally don't do it. So um, I'm gonna crack this and grab them out of here too. So yeah, tell me what you guys did on your holiday. If you got any good Black Friday deals, which that's going to be, that's going to be my next video is, hold on, my GameStop Magic Hall, <laughs> my Black Friday deals, there's, I'll show you one thing I got was this, which is not MTG related, but 
it looks pretty cool. It looks fun. So I picked that up. All right. But yeah, I got some decent magic stuff from there. Uh, that was really the only store that I went to. So let's grab these booster bags out of here. Maybe there's a beast whisperer in here. I don't know that. <coughs> All right, this bag. So I think I got this Planeswalker deck. I think it wound up being. I think it wound up being nine dollars. So two packs wound up being about like six bucks, right? And then I think she's going for around like four dollars. So I figured hey, we'd at least break even on that. And then if you hit something decent in, in the booster packs, then it's definitely worth it. All right, we'll set that. No, just go like this. All right. So since we have, let's see, we'll go like this. We got two. We'll go like this. Two. Back. There. That way we can keep it interesting. All right. How's that sound? All right. Let's crack some packs. I don't know if any of you have read the flavor text on this one here, but it's pretty interesting. The party of Rakdos revelers cackled and capered as the things approached. The thing, sorry. It hissed and they jabbed their torches at it, giggling when it recoiled. Then one by one the torches went out and the screaming began. Very ominous. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight... All right, we are starting off with a foil, I believe. I don't know. I'm, I'm good at miscounting because I'm talking, so I don't keep track. <laughs> uh, Smelt Ward Minotaur is our first uncanny. Flower and Flourish is our second. Look at that. Two, two flippers. All right. Discovery and Dispersal. And our rear is a Camaraderie. All right. Four green and a white. You gain X life and draw X cards, where X is the number of creatures you control. Creatures you can control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. And we did not get a foil, so I did miscount. <laughs> Alright, camaraderie, guild gate, and an elf knight token. And we're on to pack two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A beam splitter mage is our first uncommon. Crawl harpooner. Akron assassin. Oh, look at that. Ionize. That's a good pull. That's a good pull. One a blue and a red, counter target spell. Ionize deals two damage to that spell's controller. Very good, very good. So let's go get the goblin token. Cracking this aether here. Perhaps fatal push. Walking ghost spell, something like that. We would not complain, would we? <laughs> One, two, three, four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're gonna put these in a separate pile. Put those over there. Salvage Scuttler. Sly Requisitioner. <laughs> Outtakes, right? Sly Requisitioner. I know how to say that word, just not at that moment. Ridge Scale Tusker. Some awesome art on this badger looking. Ooh, sorry. Badger Wolverine looking thing. Very cool. Oh, and a Metallic Mimic. That's not a bad hit for this set. That's not a bad hit for this set at all. 
We have a forest and an energy reserve token. Alright. Cool. Moving on. So I don't know if you noticed, but it's a little looking a little slim back there, but I finally took the time to start putting together a binder with all the cards. And uh, I had to take a couple of them down from there. Aurelia, we had three of those. I only took one of them. Took one of the steam vents. We got a place out of them. Took one of the water graves, one of the temple gardens. Yeah, Doom Whisperer, we only had one of those. So yeah. Uh, and I think I'm missing, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine cards, so I didn't do too bad. Uh, Ritual of Soot, Arclight, Phoenix, Hatchery Spider, Nullhide, Ferox, Assassin's Trophy, Chance for Glory, Lazav, Underrealm Lich and Connive and Concoct, which I swear I pulled one of those, but I cannot find it if I did. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, we got a foil. A rock Charger. Sw oops, wrong pile. Swath Cutter Giant. A street riot. That was Black Friday. You know, started riots. <laughs> and a Pell Collector. Alright. Not too bad for one green. I miscounted again. Wow. Whenever another creature you control enter the battlefield, enters the battlefield or dies, if that creature's power is greater than Pelt Collector's, put a plus one plus one counter on Pelt Collector. As long as Pelt Collector has three or more plus one plus one counters on it, it has Trample. Pretty decent rare. Selesnia Guildgate and a Soldier Token. Alright. Necrotic Wound. Flight of Equinauts. Grappling Sundew. And a rare is a citywide bust. And <laughs> destroy our creatures with toughness four greater for one and two white. Alright. This pack of Aether that we're opening here. Oh yeah, throw them on the ground. Ugh. That is not what we wanted to do. Alright. <laughs> At least they all fell pretty much in one pile. That's surprising. Alright. Caught in the brights. What am I doing? Reading the comments. There's no comments worth anything in this. Alright. Narnum Relingade. Aerial Modification. Maverick Thas Thapterist. I can't talk tonight. I don't know why. Improvise. Your artifact can help cast a spell. Each artifact you tap after you're done activating the main abilities pays for one. Hmm. To create two, two, one color stop to artifact creature token is flying. Very cool. Alright, and our rare. Hold on a second. Alright, and our rare. So, <laughs> look at that. It's not a rare, it is a mythic. It is a Johnny Unyielding. For a green and a white. This comes with four loyalty counters. Plus two, reveal the top three cards of your library. Put all non-land permanent cards 
revealed this way into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Negative 2, exile target creature. Its controller gains life equal to its power. Its alt, alt negative 9, put 5 plus 1 plus 1 counters on each creature you control and 5 loyalty counters on each other planeswalker you control. Wow. Very cool. <laughs> From a blister pack. Wow. I'd uh, say that was worth it. I don't know what he's sitting at right now, but I'm actually just going to stack those behind here. Good pool. All right, we've got two more. We deal with the red. Vettelkin Mesmerist. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see how we can do. Maybe we can get a mythic out of these. Let's see. Maybe a Planeswalker even, hey? Moros Challenger. Swath Cutter Giant. Rampaging Monument. And our rare is a Bounty Agent. One in a white, it's a 2-2 two -two with Vigilant. Sack, tap and Sack It, which I don't understand why they say Tap and Sack It. How about just Sack It? <laughs> Destroy Target Legendary Permanent. That's in an Artifact, Creature, or Enchantment. Demir and Soldier Token. Not doing too good on these besides, uh, I mean, I guess Ionize and Pelt Collector aren't too bad. But other than that, kind of rough. Alright. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No foil. Wow. No foil out of any of these. Wow. Electrostatic field, pretty good, especially in uh, limited joy and shields. Enhanced surveillance, good card. And a rare, is, look at that, a shock land. Least value shock land, but nevertheless, it's a shock land. Temple garden. Is it Gilgate and a soldier token? All right, so overall, I don't think we did too bad. Those were our, those were our guilds of Ravnica. Yeah. No fatal pushes, but we got a metallic mimic and an a Johnny unyielding. So, I'd say we did pretty good out of all those. Um, anyways, moving on. So please like, hit the like button down below. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Hit the bell button if you haven't before. So you can get notified when I drop new videos. Um, check out my last video. It's... Uh, Talking about the exotic MTG giveaway that I'm involved in with uh, exotic MTG himself and 29 other content creators. Doing a massive giveaway here next month. Uh, starting on the 1st, ending on the 31st. So it's going to be crazy. Um, <laughs> I, I, I think Mark already spoiled it. Um, I, I know he already spoiled it. But uh, he, somebody is giving away a whole box of Ultimate Masters. So, yeah, you're definitely going to want to get in the run for that. So, hit the Gleam link. I'll put it down below. Check back every day because he's adding new ways to get in by subscribing. By subscribing to other cha different channels. And, um watching different videos, you know, the other hype videos that other people have made, you know, talking about uh, the giveaway. So, um, also connect with, you know, connect with us on Twitter. Um, so that way you can, you know, remember to go to that Gleam link. He, he reposts it every morning, or at least every day anyway. He reposts it, so that way 
it's on there you can go to it you can find out what new ways to enter there are and enter so make sure you check that out i'll leave the link to my twitter i'll leave the link to my facebook i'll post it on there as well um gleam link and yeah um other than that uh, i think that'll do it for now everybody have a great night uh happy black friday i uh, hope you had a great thanksgiving and uh look forward to talking to you soon later